On the surface of the earth, we find land in some places and water in others. There are living things on land, in water and in the air. The sun is the cause of many natural processes on the earth. Water, land and air constitute envelopes of the earth, namely the hydrosphere, lithosphere and atmosphere. The biosphere spreads in all the other three spheres, the lithosphere and the hydrosphere. The earth's crust is hard. Crust is mainly made of rock. When we travel in hilly regions, we see layers of soil and rock along road cuts. We see grassy expanses of land in some places and only sand in others. All these land features are a part of the earth's lithosphere. Much of the Earth's surface is occupied by water. The lithosphere extends under this water too. About a third of the surface of the Earth consists of land. A vast continuous stretch of land is called a continent. The land on Earth is divided into seven continents. They are Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica and Australia. Asia is the largest continent and Australia the smallest. The unevenness gives different shapes to the land in different places. They are called landforms. Example the plain, hill, mountain, etc. Two thirds of the Earth's surface is covered with water. There are five oceans, namely the Atlantic, Pacific, Arctic, the Southern Ocean and the Indian Ocean. The land along the margins of an ocean is called the coastal region. Water bodies of different shapes and size are formed along the coast. Example sea, bay, strait, gulf, creek, etc. Surface water. There are many streams of water flowing over the land. These streams of water may be rills, brooks, streams or rivers. Rills are the smallest and rivers the biggest. Rills, brooks, streams join each other to form rivers. A river cascades down a sudden drop. This forms a waterfall. All rivers eventually flow into the ocean. Lakes, a water body formed by water collecting naturally in a low-lying area of land is called a lake. Water in the form of ice, water particles in the clouds freeze and in cold regions they come down in the form of snow. When layers of snow pile up on the ground, they form ice. The huge mass of ice layers slips down a slope at a very slow speed. This is called a glacier. There are also huge blocks of ice floating in the sea. They are called icebergs, groundwater. Besides water bodies on the earth's surface, there is a lot of water stored in the underground layers of rock. This is called groundwater. Water reached by dug wells and bore wells. Many lakes and wells get water from underground springs. The water or ice that occupies the earth's surface, groundwater and the water vapor in the atmosphere together form the earth's hydrosphere. The atmosphere. The envelope of air around the earth is called the atmosphere. The atmosphere consists of a mixture of gases namely nitrogen, oxygen, water vapor and carbon dioxide. The layers of the atmosphere are the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere and exosphere. The layer that extends from the Earth's surface to a height of about 13 kilometers is called the troposphere. The conditions in the troposphere change continuously. They affect the living world to a great extent. As we go higher in the troposphere, Air becomes cooler. All the water vapor in the atmosphere is contained in the troposphere. All weather related phenomena such as formation of clouds, rain, fog, wind and storms take place in the troposphere. Aeroplanes fly in the higher parts of the troposphere. There, the air is very rare. Therefore, arrangements have to be made to ensure that passengers get enough air for breathing. Beyond the troposphere up to a height of about 50 km from the Earth is the layer called the stratosphere. In the lower part of the stratosphere, there is a layer of gas called ozone. 
ultraviolet rays coming from the sun are harmful for living things. But the ozone layer absorbs them and protects the living world from those rays. Condensation The process of vapor turning into water on cooling. How does it rain? Water on the earth evaporates continuously due to the heat of the sun. Water that has percolated into the soil also evaporates due to the heat and enters the atmosphere. As water vapor is lighter than air, it rises high up into the atmosphere. As it goes higher, it cools and condenses, forming very fine droplets of water. The droplets are so small and light that they float in the atmosphere forming clouds. These small droplets join together and form bigger drops which are heavy. They cannot float. Such drops of water fall down on the earth in the form of rain. This rain water flows into wells, streams, rivers and finally into the sea. These processes of evaporation, condensation and rainfall go on in a continuous cycle. This is known as the water cycle in nature. The biosphere. There are innumerable kinds of living things on the earth. Some regions are always covered with ice while others have a hot climate. There are mountains in some places and plains in others. The ocean is shallow near the coast but away from the coastline. The ocean can be several kilometers deep. Example, the polar bear is seen only in the snowbound polar regions. Zebras are found in Africa and kangaroos are found only in Australia. Elephants and lions are found in regions of hot climate. Many different kinds of plants, animals and microorganisms are found everywhere on the earth. On land, in water and in the air. Living things occupy parts of the lithosphere, hydrosphere as well as the atmosphere. Living things and all the parts they occupy are together called the bi-